Hello everyone and welcome back to another vlog Feet my worm on a string that hangs from my ceiling fan. <laughs> um, so today we'll be going to three stores. We're going to a bookstore slash like witchy store. Then we're going to an apoc apothe apothecary, which is like another witchy store. And then I'll be going to the only goth store other than like Hot Topic, which isn't really a goth store in my area. So I'm gonna get ready and then we're gonna go. Here we have your typical getting ready montage with me, which includes washing my face, then being like really weird and stupid in a sheet mask. Don't ask me why I'm like this. I don't even know. Then I'm using my jade roller because mmm, jade roller. Ah, yes, cold and nice. And of course, I didn't film any clips of me doing my makeup, but here is the final look because yes. Then I spent about like 45 minutes trying to figure out this harness thing. It always gets tangled up. I feel like I was just making it worse rather than better. Um, but it was genuinely frustrating me so much. But I finally got it on, which was the most satisfying part of my day, I'd like to think. Then I sat and waited for my mom to pick me up. So I'm going with my mom, her friend, and my sister. Um, here is my little hat. I had to wear the big witchy hat. And then here is my sister's outfit. I love how opposite we are. And here is my mom. She loves being in the vlogs. So everybody say hi, mom. My mom ordered like an a million pack of all these evil eye stickers. So she gave me a bunch of them. They're super cute. I ended up putting them on my sketchbook. Then we ordered some Timmy's for pickup. I ended up getting this roast beef and cheddar thing. It was so good. And then a creamy chocolate chill because they had no ice caps. Our mom told us to eat before we left and like I did, um, but I still wanted Timmy's so I had to. Thanks for this super flattering clip of me eating by the way, Lacey. Uh, shout out to my sister for filming me. After we got our food, we started driving and oh my god, this was the most hectic drive of my life. First of all, we drove past a Best Buy with like 10 cop cars out front. Turns out that it was robbed, so that's really super cool. And then uh, there was a dumpster fire. I didn't get the actual dumpster being on fire, but here's the smoke. Um, there was just a bunch of people like gathered around it and it was... Uh, definitely on fire and then literally like one minute and like 30 seconds after that there was a car crash um, and there are these two boys just watching it with big slushy things um yeah no that was awesome um but then we got there uh we were safe that's all that matters peep the fit i could not keep the corset on i need a new corset so bad this thing was stabbing me it hurt so bad but first stop was mandela books oh my god this place was so cute look at all these gorgeous statues they had such a wide variety of stuff from like different little religious figures and then they had these cute little pendant charms which i kind of regret not getting a little pentacle one so many gorgeous crystals like all over the place so many gorgeous towers and crystals and they were like relatively like well priced too I ended up getting like a bunch of these little tumbled crystals because they were like two to eight dollars depending on like the rarity of the stones. So super cool. I got a bunch of those. And then they had this awesome corner with so much incense and like so many candles. It was super neat. They had a super wide variety of incense too. Like all of these almost were different types of incense. There was just so many like different little things like look at these adorable carved boxes. Such a wide variety of books too on like every topic under the sun from like witchcraft to religion to mental health. Um, Lacey got this cute little journal. I thought it was adorable. They had so many pretty journals there. It was so nice to just spend some time looking around at all the different books and there were tarot decks too. I forgot to film those but there were so many and then they had this cute little garden out back. It was super nice. After we were done here, we hopped back in the car and then we drove to our next destination. We actually ended up walking a bit and we saw this super cute alleyway with all this beautiful art and murals all over the walls. It was really pretty. I hadn't been down this area before. We finally arrived at our next destination, which was Seven Sisters Apothecary. 
oh my god, I cannot express how much I absolutely love the vibe of this store. There's taxidermy up on the walls and also bones for sale. I've actually gotten a beautiful goat skull here. They have so many interesting books on witchcraft. I've bought a few here and they also have amazing, beautiful handcrafted tools and such. They have like bath ritual things, lots of incense, lots of candles. They also have a lot of different things from different local artists as well, like there was prints and like I think tote bags and such, so that was super cool. And then they had this beautiful baby deer taxidermy, it was so cute, and just look at their altar. Um, it was a public altar, I think, so gorgeous, like I love it so much. Then we walked down the block a bit to the next stop, which was a local goth store called London Rock. They honestly didn't have too much of a variety here of like different styles, but you can't really expect much because it is a small business. They did have so many cool rings and such. Just look at all these patches, different bands, different movies and video games and stuff. Super cool. One thing I did find super cool is they made their own chokers, like different types of leather and materials and spikes and studs. It was super dope. They also had a wide variety of posters too. We spent quite a bit of time there and then we were ready to head home for the day. I don't know what it is about shopping, but it always tires me out so much. I ended up falling asleep in the car. Hello, I am home. Obviously, I look, um not good <laughs> but uh, that is a sign of a good shopping trip uh, when you come home and you look like asshole you know it was a good one so i have i didn't get a lot but i do have a, a cute little haul you know so for the first store the mandela bookshop um i had a 30 dollars gift certificate so i didn't actually spend anything there which was pretty awesome first three things i got i got some incense they have really cheap incense and it's like the big to be things so i got goddess i got dragon's blood of course love dragon's blood and then i got myrrh um i need a new incense and it was cheap so why the heck not it was two dollars each and i can't there's 20 in here there's 26 in here so that's a good deal and then i got some crystals as well she put them in this little baggie here. I will show you all the ones I got. This is mica. It's so pretty. I love the way it shimmers in the light. I don't think I have any of this, so it's nice to add some to my collection. And then green calcite. Again, I don't think I have any. Um, nice to get some. I'm trying to broaden my horizons and like get a bigger variety of crystals as well. I think this is forest jasper oh, i can't tell i'll put the name down here if i'm wrong but she gave me these as like a little freebie um because i had like i spent like 29 dollars on my gift card and it was a 30 dollars gift card so she's like here i'll give you these two little guys and i'm like oh thank you and then i forget the name of this one off the top of my head but super cute I do not have one of these, so nice to add to the collection. Then I got a beautiful soda light. I love soda light. I have a few pieces, but I just love it. It's pretty. Then I got this gorgeous malachite. Um, I don't have any malachite, and I've been looking forward to getting some, so I'm very glad that I got this. Then this little chunk of selenite. Um, I do have some selenite, but it's always good to have around and it was pretty inexpensive. This whole store was pretty inexpensive for everything that I got. Um, and then I got this beautiful chunk of rose quartz. Doesn't show up as pink on camera, but it is pink. It, oh my God, my nose, ignore my nose, please. Um, but cute chunk of rose quartz as well. And then that is everything from Mandela Books. And I did end up getting one thing from London Rock. I got a dress, so I'm gonna try that on now and I will show you. This is the dress I got. It's super cute. It was only $46 with tax because um, it was 25% off. I needed um, like a proper, like good quality dress like this and I'm super glad I got it there. Um, I really like the way it fits. There's some really cute, I'm not trying to upskirt myself. <laughs> There's really cute ruffles in the back. 
and I really like it overall. I'm very happy I got it. I was going back and forth on whether or not I really wanted it, but I am really glad I got it. That is it for today's vlog. Say bye, Worm on a String. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for checking this video out. If you want more videos like this, I do post every week on my channel, so consider subscribing. It means a lot. And also check me out on my other socials if you'd like to see more of me. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I will see you next time. Love you. Bye!